Hello Aries, welcome to your October 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And share widely, please, because it does help us grow the channel. Right? Really, really important. So, this is your general reading for October 2022. Um, and what we will do is we will sort of divide the reading quickly into areas so it is easier to understand. We will look at the overall energy first. For the month of October, we will then look at the um, your your emotional core. See what can go. We see what comes in. We see what can go. That kind of stuff. 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 <laughs> Before we then look into the, um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of October. Now remember, I've said that so many times before, but in the origin story of all the shamanic tribes. It is said that we come from the stars, which even scientists uh, confirm that we are star matter. Point is, we come from a place called the Pleiades. Uh, Pleiades. I, can, I don't know how to pronounce that right. You know, the Pleiades. In any case, and since the moon governs our emotions, and since we are on this blue planet here, third rock from the sun, as they say, we oftentimes feel a bit lost. And since the beginning of time, we have looked at the stars, understanding innately that sometimes somehow we're missing um, our own tribe we're missing a bit of love um, so that sort of thing now the good thing is mid months between you know, 12 uh, October the 12th and the 14th just two days after the full moon the moon itself sits right underneath the Pleiades which means you will be much less emotionally compromised mid months um, you will feel a much stronger sense of connection um, because you are going home for a period. Really, really important to understand that no matter how far away you, you feel you are from that feeling of belonging, you are here for a reason, you are here for a purpose. Live your life as best you can. Right? Don't go into longing, because the more you go into longing, the lower your energy will be, because you want something to happen. Just live your life the best you can. Okay, So let's have a look at the um, overall energy for the month of October 2022. And the month of October is the energy of forgiveness. What you're being asked, and you can see there directly in the forgiveness to the, to the heavens where we're from, what you're being asked is to just let go, and the just part is the hard part. Let go, right? Holding on to stuff that happens to you. Worst case scenario, it gives new energy to the perpetrators. It gives energy to the negative uh, um, things that have happened to you, and it could lead to trauma. It doesn't allow you to grow. So it's a difference between letting it go and forgiving. So nobody asks you to forget, nobody asks you to re-enter relationships that clearly weren't worth having, <coughs> but forgive. Understand that the people who do bad things need love and healing, maybe even more than you do. <coughs> so this is the month um, where, you, where you forgive. You say, like, well, you know what, you came here with a set of circumstances, there's a good chance that I, in another lifetime, agreed to meet you so you can change. And then your little bastard didn't. <laughs> right? So, let it go. Right? Allow yourself to forgive. Understand that people have their own demons. That does not mean you, you uh, condone it. But carrying it around with you serves you not. Okay? Feels to me like Forgiving and moving on. It, it, if What I'm getting here, and I tell you speaking for Aries, is if you give more second chances, third chances, fourth chances, it will very likely come back and bite you in the bum. And it is not just about uh, um, personal relationships, intimate relationships. This is about everything. right? Focus on who are you, where do you want to be, and who or what is causing issues in the life I'm living and let it go and move on. Okay? That was your overall energy for the months ahead, dear Aries. 
And now we're looking at your emotional core. And this is a good one because your emotional core, um, and again, it, it continues from the forgiveness into the let, letting go thing because your emotional core is ready for new beginnings. Which is not a bad thing, right? Because you really, how can I phrase this best? Even with all the, the, the trauma that you haven't yet released, you are ready to say, I'm starting over. I'm giving things another go, just not with the same people that caused you damage. That seems to be the key here, but you're ready. Don't hide. Don't think, oh, I don't trust because of blah, 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 blah. Right? And I get that when you, when you say you don't trust and you hide yourself. In many ways, that is just a way of saying, um, I'm hiding. And it doesn't work, right? So you are ready, your soul is ready for new beginnings. Embrace them. Really, really important. And this is about your emotional core. So you are ready for new beginnings to explore. Uh, um, new love, for instance. Should you be in a relationship, then, then, then reflect on it and look at what is working and what isn't working. And endeavor to bring this to a next step, to another level. Right? Really, really important. Lastly... Let's look at opportunities for the month of October 2022 for the sign of Aries. And this is really cool because you have abundance. Abundance coming in. What that also means is that an abundance is, 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 is not a financial term. Right? Abundance just means that all the things you deserve, everything you, you, you asked for is ready to come to you. Um, so you're inviting an abundance. So the abundance that, that we're getting here for your opportunities means that opportunities will be plentiful and that you have actually options that you probably didn't think you had. right? So, um, so pay attention to um, what you want so that you can make it happen. Okie dokie. See you later.